Hey guys, Belinda here for Horror Tree, back again with another dose of my Horror Tree weekly wrap up. And today I'm going to be talking about four submission calls that are currently up on the Horror Tree website. So let's get stuck right into it. Okay, first up is Wandering Wave Press, Tumble Tales 1, Stories That Upend Genre Conventions. So the thing for this one, guys, is they're looking for genre authors who cross boundaries. They want you to send them stories that you can't classify, a story that can't be pigeonholed into a single subgenre or that pushes against your genre's boundaries. They want to showcase authors who write uncommon fiction. For example, Witches in Space. I love that. I love that so much. Um, romances that flip gender roles, alternate histories set in the near future, medical thrillers set in the distant past, fairy tales that start after the happily ever after or something cool and exciting that we haven't imagined they're after stories of between 1000 and 10000 words and payment is $25 and the submissions close on the 1st of December okay next up is stormbird press our ocean earth in partnership with Ocean Care, Stormbird Presses opens a call for our Ocean to Earth contributions. This call is for non-fiction or fiction writing that conveys one clear and unified message that our oceans are worth fighting for. They're after stories of between 1,000 to 3,000 words that reflect the core principle of the submission call. And the payment is €200 Euro plus being featured on the Stormbird Press's author page, plus unlimited Our Ocean Earth downloads for one year. The submissions close on the 30th of October. Next up, we have Renaissance and their There's No Place Like Home anthology. Now, the theme here is stories who have experienced or who are experiencing homelessness. The theme of the collection is simply home. This is not limited to physical spaces. Home can be a person, an item, a memory, a sensation. The theme can be interpreted broadly, but home should be at the heart of your story and you can tell your story in any genre, genre that you like. The word count is between 500 to 3,500 words. They're after fiction stories only, and the payment is 0.08 Canadian cents per word, plus a copy of the anthology. Submissions close on the 30th of September. Now, there is a note for this one, guys, that while they prioritise Canadian submissions, submissions are open to writers throughout the world. Okay, last, certainly not least, is not a pipe publishing and they're as yet untitled LGBTQIA plus anthology. So they're primarily seeking speculative fiction, including science fiction, fantasy, horror, or any other works with a speculative element. They're interested in both stories and poetry, and they're willing to consider work in experimental or unconventional styles. So for stories, the word count is 2,000 to 3,500 words. Longer works will be considered. Poetry, 350 lines max for a single poem. And art and black, and, sorry, for art, black and white images will be considered for the interior and colour will be considered for the cover. Multiple submissions are accepted for this one, guys. The payment is equal portions of profits and a copy of the anthology. And the submiss submissions close on the 1st of September. So that's it, guys. Yet another amazing week of submission calls from amazing publishers and amazing opportunities to get your creative juices flowing, get some submissions happening and getting hopefully accepted and getting your work loved and read and adored by the masses. So if you are interested in submitting to any of these calls, all the information you need is up on the Horror Tree website, so please get on there and check it out. And if you are enjoying these videos, please subscribe to our um, YouTube channel. We would love to see you there. And if you have any feedback or suggestions, we're all ears, guys. We would love to hear from you. So please, please get in touch if you, if you so desire. Okay, so thank you for watching. And until next time, guys, stay safe, stay cool, and stay spooky. See you later.